need to go and see all the schools in action and we need to tape it, we need to show it and let people see the impact that is happening in schools. They need to meet the kids, they need to meet the social workers, they need to meet the principals and they need to see it real life from the people that are experiencing it and the people that are doing the work because it's important for people to see this work so that it can then be disseminated out to everybody and see SEL and how it's making uh, major gains for schools academically as well as socially. I mean, what you doing today, man? I'm not doing anything today. I, I think we're going to do a video today. I mean, do we have time for that, man? Um, there's no time like the present. Educational leaders, mm -hmm. take note. It's not only about what our students are learning, it's about how they are learning it. And we owe it to our students to be able to prepare them to thrive in the world of tomorrow, not today. And I think the framework of skills that are presented in a strong social emotional learning curriculum prepare our kids to thrive in the 21st century world. SEL skills is a big part of our day and helps us in everyday life. Our school was founded on the idea that all students deserve access to a rigorous academic and artistic experience and so therefore we don't screen or audition any of our students um, and students come to us and we are able to cultivate something within them. We offer a beacon of support so that they develop confidence in themselves. PGC is a peer group connection. It's a partnership through the Center for Supportive Schools. Um, this is our first year with the partnership. So it's basically a program where we have um, upperclassmen, mostly seniors, who mentor freshmen. I want to say thank you to my teacher, Mr. Aduce, for teaching me self-management skills. It's helped me turn in my work on time and manage myself correctly and become an overall good student, so thank you. I'm feeling great. What motivated me is um, that I'm close to graduation. I'm almost graduating, so I can't miss no school. What motivated me was the fact that I woke up breathing. It's one thing that will enhance our intrapersonal relationships with adults and with students. For me personally, I'm working on uh, social awareness, which is just collaborating effectively, because it goes within with like out of school and in school. Personally, I've been working on making better decisions for myself. It's important to me because making those decisions, so I just look at my options and from there evaluate each option that I have, and from there make that decision, which, which one will be best for me and why. I would say social emotional learning is worth every second of the time because in the future you're going to need these skills to interact with other people, whether it's in your like workplace or just outside. My message would honestly say like as a principal you need to make sure your kids are not just prepared for college, you need to make sure that your students are prepared for the real world and this world is very cruel. So you need to have your children more focused on their social awareness like responsible decision making instead of just like math, science, English, and art and stuff like that. I can't imagine that a principal or a teacher wouldn't want to buy into social emotional learning. I mean, I just feel like it has so much of an impact on a student to learn about themselves, to take inventory of what they believe in, who they are, how they carry themselves, and how that impacts their life as a student, their life as a daughter or a son or as a person in the world. One thing I'm working on is goal directed behavior. Okay. Working on things that help me get closer to my goal okay. and staying focused. And that's important because it helps me achieve my goal. It helps me stay focused while on my way to my goal. And it helps me also motivate others and inspire others to do the same. Administrators should spend time teaching and introducing social emotional learning into the community of the schools because it makes school 
a more open environment. Kids will come in and not just expect learning academically in um, those areas. Well, the arts is a way that students give you um, their inner selves. The arts connects to the spiritual, the emotional. Um, it really allows students to share who they are without uh, having sometimes use language. And so it's really a great way to uh, get them uh, to take a, a risk uh, in their own emotions. Performing arts is actually a really powerful tool to help students develop their own self-awareness and it also helps them make connections to perform and excel in school here and as they prepare to graduate and become college and career ready. The only way to get that academic achievement is to have strong social emotional skills. So if we don't help our kids develop those first, we'll never get them to the places where they need to be to be able to compete in an equitable fashion once they leave us. Well, one thing for middle school students, they're emotional. So to teach a social emotional learning piece would help their understanding of learning who they are and also help adults understand why they go through the things that they go through. Personally, I would have been able to sit here right now if it wasn't for social emotional learning. I wasn't, wasn't able to like advocate for myself when I was younger. Through social emotional learning, I learned these skills. Like I wouldn't be able to hold eye contact with you right now, to be honest. I used to be the shyest kid, never spoke up. Mm -hmm. Now I'm able to communicate and like advocate mm -hmm. the ideas that I have. So social emotional learning was actually one of the biggest reasons I took the job at BYW. These are skills that they actually need to succeed in the world. So it's just one of those things that we actually need to be talking about. There needs to be time set apart every single day so that they actually get to practice this. I would say to someone who hasn't done social emotional learning yet that uh, they are missing an important uh, piece or pillar in uh, building up uh, a child. Good day, good day. Today was a good day, man. We went around the, the city, we saw social emotional learning at so many different schools. We heard from teachers, we heard from principals, we heard from social workers. I mean, the list goes on. But ultimately, I was really impressed with the social emotional development that we see in our kids, which is creating social transformation in our communities. I stand, I stand, I agree with you completely. Be friends, look. I'm, I'm just looking forward to the rest of the city seeing the great work that's going on here today as well. Absolutely, we need dissemination to, uh, on all these levels, and I think today by them seeing what happened, um, hearing our kids, right? And that's what I think the biggest thing is hearing our kids and hearing our teachers talk about these skills and how they have impacted their lives and their school houses. I mean, SEL forever. SEL forever. Yeah.